crying. The old saying, you can't buy love, isn't really the case here. For the love of Paws, a pet rescue nonprofit works in Windsor, Essex, placing dogs. Just around for a short period of time, they've been able to find homes for a lot of dogs. I, just over a year, yes. Uh, we've brought in over 120 dogs. We've adopted out over 100 dogs. Bruno is one of their success stories. Um, he came in as a owner surrender uh, with his father and his siblings. Uh, yes, we were able to bring Bruno and his father over, so both have been adopted. After the Browns family's two dogs died, they weren't sure when they would be ready for a new dog. We had seen uh, Bruno's picture on the computer and, um, you know, if we, we knew that we uh, uh, liked him a lot when we saw him and when we met him in person, um, you know, there was really no question, you know, we knew that we that he deserved to have uh, a warm home and a happy family to love him. So This rescue agency takes in dogs from as far as Lebanon. We go through an organization, uh, Beta, um, and last summer we brought in four, and just this January we brought in our two, and then we're going to be bringing in four more again in the summer. Where the love of Paws has put together a petition to have stricter bylaws for pet safety in harsh weather because we've had dogs come in that were actually frozen to the ground in their own feces. Yeah, we've rescued um, one little dog, uh, I want to say Buddy, came in and he was, they, sh they cut a barrel in half and that was his dog house and he was frozen to the ground. Right now, these puppies are looking for a home and more become available every day. For Mediaplex News, I'm Stacy Janzer.